Hey everyone, it's Marco again. Today I'm gonna to show you the three Prot Warrior play styles. And I'm gonna preface this by saying every item you see here was obtainable last patch in patch two, okay? In season six. Uh, the reason I quit the game, um, I had a job that I, I went to. I ended up quitting that job actually, but it required way more hours of my time and I couldn't play WoW well, anywhere near as much as I used to. And on top of that, I just was not getting the gear I needed I had the result to GDKPs to try my best, but you know, you know, if you've played before and you just could not get an item you wanted or it just never dropped for you, you know what that feels like. And I literally had six, seven, eight items just, I just couldn't get. Um, and so my build was never complete. It was very frustrating. And on top of that, I had the time restraint. So I just said, you know what, I'm gonna take a break. So I took three months off, I'm back um, and I'm, I'm better than ever. I'm very excited more more thrilled than i have been about the game in a very long time so let's show you the three prop warrior play styles keep in mind this was all possible last season but i couldn't show it to you because i just didn't get the items but now i have them so okay this is the block value build you're above soft cap uh keep in mind that your glyph is going to give you 200 block value because you're over 2k here uh so you're going to be well above the soft cap of 2400 and you're going to hit really, really hard. Uh, you're going to have 40% armor pen. Your attack power is still decent. Um, so Shockwave should hit for um, a decent amount as well. And now armor pen, you're not at the soft cap with the Molnir yet for this build, but you're getting close. And it's going to do more damage next season with 20% bonus. And well, let me not get ahead of myself. Let me show you the damage. All right, we need to get a Molnir proc while we have a rolling shield block. There it is. I'm gonna pop wreck and here we big slam. There it is. 14,000. That dude, I just did like 40k in 10 seconds. Um, so that is the block value build. You're going to surprise people with that. Um, I think it might be viable in twos. The only thing that sucks is you literally have no resilience. So you can probably give up another 100 block value and still hit similar numbers because of how the soft cap works. So you could, like you could probably um, swap this out for for that and you'd, you'd still be at that soft cap and you'd have a little more resilience. But yeah, it's, this, is, uh, this is all in on block value. You are not going to do good damage over time. You are only going to do damage during your your shield block with the Molnir proc. Now, luckily the Molnir proc and the shield block are on the, about the same cooldown, 40 and 45 seconds. So every time shield blocks up, Molnir should be happening as well. So you can wait for the Molnir proc, pop shield block, do your big damage, and then wait for it to happen again. And shield block will always be ready because it's five seconds less of a cooldown than the Molnir. So that's that's good to know. Um, but that's your, your one trick pony. Your opponents are going to see it. They're going to know as soon as Molnir procs that you're going in. Um, but yeah, that's the block value build. I think it's viable in twos. I'm not sure if it's viable in threes and fives because once they see your resilience level, they will nuke you. Um, I don't know if you can live. Like even for a prop warrior, this is pushing it, man. This is so low. But uh, for BGs, this is hilarious. If you have a pocket healer, um, you will w walk around one-shotting, two-shotting people. It's absolutely hilarious. Um, okay, like you get Berserker buff. It's just freaking over. Um, all right, let's do the next. The next one is a full resilience set. Now, if you thought the damage was high before, it's about to get really low. Uh, you have no block value. You have really low armor pen. You have decent crit chance, uh, and you have massive resilience. You aren't going to die. Um, so this build is, I I like annoying enemy players and wasting their time. That's what this build is. Uh, the damage is super low. Uh, we're looking at this right now. This is sad. This is like, this wouldn't kill people in TBC, right? Like you're doing like arms warrior damage from TBC. Um, it's not great. Uh, yeah, with Molnir proc, it'll get a little better. We're just waiting for that right now, but it's it's not good. Your your shield slams are so low, it's not even worth doing them unless you have shield block. And even then, your shockwave will do more damage than your your shield slam with shield block up. Uh, so it's very very low damage. Um, so we'll actually pop we'll pop a zerker here. Actually, I want to save it for the next build. This build just low damage. So that was my point. The build just low damage, not very good. But 
uh, you're super hard to kill. So when I'm carrying flags, I put this set on and I have uh, rocket boots on the boots. So th this set, what it's good for? Running flags. Uh, I don't think it, it will run arenas. And then, uh, but I'm still going to play with it. I'm still going to experiment. The final build, I think this is the best build. It will not do the 40k burst damage that you saw uh, from the shock, shock, uh, sorry, shield block value build. Excuse me. Um, however, I uh, I think it's the most average damage you're going to get. Like just your DPS will go up, you know, 30%. Uh, you have to get above the soft cap or about the soft cap for armor pen. Crit is decent. Resilience is low. It's not good, but it's not bad, right? It's 10% less damage. It's, it's not terrible. It's something, right? It'll keep you up. Um, okay, but now let's see how the damage does. Now... I want you to keep in mind the numbers from when I was doing, you know, the shield slam and with the 14k and, you know, the the uh, 6k devastates and stuff. Now keep those numbers in mind. Let's do it like this. Now shield slam isn't worth doing right now. Yeah, I just did a 5k shield slam. My devastates are gonna hit. Can I get a crit on? Oh, Doctor Proctor, I'm gonna go for it. So here's the shield slam, 8k. The shockwave would have done about the same. The devastates are hitting for 7k. Right? So there's a shield slam 5400. There's a devastate for 6000. So the devastate is bigger when you don't have a shield block up. Um, and the shockwave is massive. It's prop. So the numbers are not as high as what you were seeing before, right? With the shield block, when the shield block had all the cooldowns and everything. But look at this average damage right now. 5k, 5k, 6k, 6k. Like, this is decent. And there's no proc, right? You're just doing okay damage. This is enough with someone putting MS on the target, like in threes and fives, for you to contribute to a kill. That's what you don't have to get the kill, you just have to be able to contribute. You can't be a wasted space, right? Yeah, 2700 shield slam, 2800 devastate. So, the devastate's stronger without a shield block up, which is what you want. You want. In between your shield slams, when you don't have shield block up, you want your devastates to do more damage than your shield slams so that you're not always relying on that to do damage. You have this filler damage that's actually good damage. You have 6k devastates. Um, that's pretty good. Um, it's really good damage over time. Um, and it has the same Molnir proc burst damage. It's just instead of using a shield slam necessarily, you would go for a shockwave and then, and then a shield slam. Like Molnir procs, get your shockwave off, then pop wreck, do your shield block, you know, maybe a disarm and a bash and then a slam, and you do some decent damage. Um, but yeah, that's uh, that's the third build, and it's it's the armor pen build. It's get armor pen cap first. We'll go over the builds one more time. So the first build was prioritize block value, then armor pen, and as much crit as you can get along the way. The second build was resilience above everything else. Right, and then whatever else you get is just filler. Uh, and then the final build was prioritize armor pen above everything else, and then just try to get whatever resilience you can with enchants and a two set bonus. Uh, so that's uh, what I have for you today. Uh, let me know what you think. Let me know what kind of warrior you would be the resilience build, the block value build, or the armor pen build. Um, thank you guys very much for watching. Good luck and have fun, everyone. And thanks a lot for sticking with the channel.